One of the most famous UFO cases anywhere in the world took place in Alaska. The, the way it started is the, uh, there was a 747, the Japanese uh, airline 747 was coming from the northwest going across uh, the Alaskan uh, territory. And he was at either 31, 33, or 35,000 feet. And uh, it was, uh, I want to say around 11 o'clock at night, but you can check the real times. He called and asked the controller if the controller had any traffic at his uh, altitude. And the controller said, uh, no, basically it was a midnight operation, they didn't have too much traffic. And he said, well, something like I have uh, a, a target at my... Uh, uh, 11 o'clock or 1 o'clock position, about 8 miles now. In the 747, they have radar in the nose that picks up the weather outside there. So his radar is picking up uh, a target. He sees this target with his, uh, with his eye, and the target, the way he described it, was a huge ball with uh, lights running around it, and uh, I think he said it was like uh, four times as big as a 747. Back to uh, Washington the next day, the uh, administrator had called down and uh, wanted to know uh, if, if uh, he had a problem or not. And my boss had told him, well, we took a video of it and uh, it looks like there might have been something there. This sighting was made by an airline pilot with 29 years of experience. The Federal Aviation Administration in this country began an investigation and it ended today. On the radar, somewhere along the line, if the pilot said it was a UFO, who are we to say it's not? You have an airplane or a structure or a craft that's sitting outside that 747's window. The military controller has what they call height finding radar, and they have long range radar and short range radar. So if they don't catch it on one of their systems, they catch it on the other. And if you listen to the uh, military man, at one time he said, I have it on the height uh, or radar. Do you need anybody to scramble up there, or do you want to do that? Oh, we're going to talk to your liaison officer about that. It's starting to concern that uh, Japan Airlines is taking the 360 now, and it's still falling. Okay, we're going to we're gonna call the military desk on this. They didn't ask me if there was anything else that I had. They said to take in all this data, and I said, fine. Now, I had the original uh, video that uh, I took, and I had the, uh, the uh, pilot's uh, uh, report that came through, uh, the first report, and I had the FAA's uh, uh, first report that was all downstairs on my, uh, my table. They didn't have... Anchorage Air Traffic Control now asks Flight 1628 to maintain visual contact with the unknown craft. out here that's four times as big as an aircraft carrier.
people from the CIA and three people from Reagan's scientific uh, study team, and I don't know who the rest of the people were. But they were all excited. When they got done, they t actually swore all these other guys into uh, uh, that this never took place. We never had this meeting, and this was never recorded. He said this is the first time they ever had 30 minutes of radar data on a UFO, and they're all itching to get their hands into the data.